So, so great excitement today. We are off to the Man From Snowy River Bush Festival in Koryong, just over the border in Victoria. We just had to stop to get an amazing look at this view. Snowy mountains stretching into the distance. Shop till you drop. I have their ears following what I'm doing and I want them right beside my knee so they're not lagging too far or too far in front. I'm going to get them to come around here. What are you making, ladies and gentlemen? It's a cool one. Thank you so much for watching. I always feel really privileged to be here. And horses are such beautiful creatures and I love to show what they can do and, and to show people how beautiful they are and, and what they can really do. Yeah. So then we've got to try to do is put the two little ones over this way. So we say Trev back, sit, Trev walk in, walk in, walk in, sit. Good. Okay, old mate's going to do a runner. Snow back. Snow sit. Good. Okay, the old horse has moved a fraction, see? Right. So we'll get this one here, trip back, back. Sit. Snow to me. Sit. Good. Okay. We'll just see if we get a okay, so is this something you think you could do? A drum first, okay? I think I'd be a fair while getting this job done. Right, so He's got horses, dogs, and gates. Lucy, good. I want the red-headed goat over here. Good, Lucy, away. Lucy, good, Lucy, good. Lucy, good. Lucy, see it. Very good. Legend's head's in the way. Okay. So we say, um, hey, Snow. Good. Very good. Oh, look out. <laughs> good. Good. Okay, so that's one. And we can say this one here, we can try to get it onto the... We're going to put the horse back onto the rubber mat over here. So I'm just going to push on its bubble. Hopefully it moves over. Good. Trip. Hit a bit of pressure on that goat. Good. Okay. And then we've got to do is try to move this horse hind end around a bit. See it's got its head over the barrel, the goat can't really get on. 
So I've got to try to put enough pressure on the, the horse to move its hind end. Okay. Good. Give your hind end. Good. 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 Hey, Snow. Sit. Trip to me. Sit. Trip away. Sit. Trip walk in. Sit. Good. Here, Lucy. Sit. Good. Very good. And this goat is a little bit simple, okay? So we've got to spell it out <laughs> to it. So hey, snow back. Walk in. Good. Sit. We've got to move the goat around a little bit, see? To give it options. Good. Walk it up. A bit of pressure. Good. Good. So as soon as it makes a step, I release the pressure. Okay. Good snow. Walk in. Good snow. Walk in, snow. Sit. Good. We've got to put pressure on the goat so then it wants to jump up higher to get away. Oh, very cool. Look out there, big fella. He's going for a walk. Calm down. Honestly, guys, this is about the second time I've done this, okay? I wasn't going to do it today, but thought, let's just give it a crack, right? But we've got to teach the horse to be patient, okay? Because eventually, one bloke said, yeah, why don't you see if you just get the goat up there? And then we started doing that, and I thought, well, it's really good for the horses because if you're out mustering cattle and you've got to pick up a baby calf, um, they can't walk the distance back to the yards, or your dog's overheating, you've got to pick your dog up and put it on your horse, okay? And if your horse has never had a goat or a dog or a calf on it, usually just tries to buck it off or buck yourself off. So this is a really good way, or another way, of desensitising horses. We sell a lot of horses all around the country, okay? Um, yeah, but I just don't know what we can do now. Anyone got any suggestions? I'll get a dog up. I don't think the goat, goat likes the dog too much on the back of their horse. But um, well, eventually, see, the next step I reckon is probably we can try to do a liberty act with the three horses walking around us. Okay? But um, I might just start on my... Good. All we can do is just see... There you go. If we just lead this one... Quietly. Good. And just see what happens. Good. Because these goats have got incredible balance. The red-headed goat is real matey. See, it's looking out to this one. This is its best mate. So if it sees the horse moving away, it'll probably jump off. Good. Hey, Trev. Sit. Trev, back. Trev, back. Sit. So I just put a little crocodile there so that the goat sees the little dog and is not too keen on jumping off. If that makes sense. Good. Good. Okay. Very good. So what we could possibly do is we could get these guys. That'll do. Snow up. Lucy up. Trev, that'll do, mate. That'll do. Thanks for coming out, brother. Then we'll just try to get these guys just back on their drum. Good. Very good. And uh, the little fella. There you go, mate. We could possibly get him. Um, good. Good. Just move around a fraction. Just a little bit closer so you get to the drum. There you go. Beautiful. Okay. And you can hop off, big fella. Good work. And then... What's your, what's your favourite bit so far? We just watched Tom Curtin. and killed it. What was he doing? He had horses, he had dogs, but, and they just were right on the button. Then he put a goat on the horse. That was the next thing. So, three I mean, of them, three of them. yeah. Three goats on three horses. I mean, what do you say? And now you're having a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Tonya, Fino! Hi! 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 Right, oh, outside's a call, he's got the cut out, the camp section's clear. Outside he goes, Charlie Patton.
Nice little shoulder on Spear. Good shots, well done. Around the first peg, we'll watch Charlie Pat as he comes around the second peg. There he is, he's around the second peg. Here we go, Charlie Patton round up, round the third. There we are, ladies and gents, put your hands together. Number 11, he's got the cut out. Oh, here we go, he's got hard blocks there once again. Oh, another good block, and away he goes, outside. Chris Kasler can get on course now, going to work. Oh, uh, around, oh, just about round the first peg, just up inside, he's going to get back on track. And, how's he going? Out of bounds. It's quick and quick Victoria, 12 year old horse called Callum India. Got one cut out, and outside he goes. Big white short on steer. Beautiful condition, they present these stocking for our competitors to use. Round the first peg he goes. First peg he goes. He's winding up, trying to come around the second. <coughs> yeah, he's going to just bring him in, get on the other side and bring him back. This is number 51, Troy Nichols. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There we are, ladies and just put your hands together for Troy Nichols. Daniel Robinson in the far pen, this prepping up for a young horse fighter. Now that Peter Stowell's firmly in place and he's comfortable with where he's at. Just take a little bit of notice around the middle pen there for Donald Hancock. Nice bit of movement around the pen. He just asked that one race, Doc, just asked on that note, just like he did on the ground. We'll replace. Where he's using his heel before. At the top, Daniel Robertson is back with the flag, working away. Just trying to. Get our young horse boy just to send him. Okay. 